back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma i gotta start this video off with a shout out to my boy stamina mc just because i feel like i need to whenever we're talking about this Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg situation. All right, also Limit Hogo Genetics, what up? But uh, Amanda Nunes, coach Conan Silveira has responded to Chris Cyborg's harsh words where she called him a Criante and fucking talked about him in the American top team, said he was unloyal and a traitor to Brazil and Brazil will remember and brought up Colby Covington and 10 different reasons he was out of line for saying that he thought that Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg would leave their mark on the sport if they fought. Like, he was literally just trying to build a fight with this fighter. Like, yo, Amanda Nunes wants this fight. It's happening. This is the fight Amanda Nunes has her mind on. And if Amanda, if these girls fought, they would be able to leave their mark on the sport. He literally didn't say anything negative about Chris Cyborg. Didn't even throw shade to our knowledge. Well, Chris Cyborg responded with those harsh words that I've um, just previously mentioned where she called him all type of stuff and just went jumped out the window on this dude. Well, now he's responded and keeping it classy. He's not taking away from the fact that he's saying, this is what he's saying, hey, don't let that Crayante and all of talk and that Colby Covington talk and that American Top Team talk distract you from the fact that Amanda Nunes wants the fade. Don't let it distract you, sweetie. That's essentially what he's saying. This whole paragraph, he's being real nice and letting you know, hey, this is what I was saying. I don't know why you went went off on me, but Amanda Nunes still wants to fight you. That That's what he's saying. I mean, you can read it all here. I'll read it to you. This is what he had to say. I'd like to first respond by saying I have nothing but respect for Chris Cyborg as a champion and a fighter. Keep it in classy. I like this dude. I'm not sure why she chose to speak negatively about me because this has nothing to do with me. That's the don't let this distract you from the fact. It has nothing to do with any of those people or countries she was talking about. No, no, no. This is all about Nunez v. Cyborg. Now, he continued. Now, you can read along. He didn't say the last part. I'm adding it. But he said, this is about two champions at the top of their games about making a great historic fight. Fans, fighters, and the UFC want to see big fights, big events, and I think this qualifies as one. Champion versus champion. Come on, sweetie. He said, just recently, you had GSP vs. Bisping, Mayweather vs. Pacquiao. Great champions who want to compete and test themselves against the best. He's trolling Chris Cyborg. 100% trolling the heart. I fucking love this dude. He's trolling right here. He, I'm telling you, that how troll was that? How troll was that? You guys, somebody somebody fills me on that. He said the best fighting the best. Pacquiao vs. Mayweather. Bisping vs. GSP. He's saying... <laughs> I love this guy. All right, let's continue. He said, there's no disrespect coming from my part towards Chris Cyborg or her team. We simply think this can be a legendary fight between two tremendous champions. Who doesn't want to see that? At the end of the day, we're fighters, and that's what we do. We do not make the... He said, why not make the most of this opportunity and compete to see who rises to the top? Amanda stated she wanted to fight the winner of Home vs. Cyborg. So the real question is, Chris, do you want to test yourself and fight against Amanda in a great fight for all to see? Because Amanda's in. Yeah, so enough said. He kept it classy. He's saying, I don't know why she's bringing up all this stuff. Don't let it distract you from the fact that Amanda Nunes still wants those hands. So, um... Um, he's, you know, he could have turned this into a coach versus cyborg and came out and stole the attention and, you know, it let it distract everybody from the fact that Amanda Nunes is still begging to fight Chris Cyborg and Chris Cyborg don't want to smoke. So that, and that's what it's looking like. Chris, and, and Chris Cyborg, I mean, I'm a Chris Cyborg fan. I mean, I'm not, I guess, I guess I wouldn't, I don't fucking put hashtag Cyborg Nation at the end of every tweet, but I'm still a Cyborg fan. I like what she does. I, I see the hand she's been dealt in UFC. I saw the fucking documentary on her bad weight cut. You know, I felt bad for Cyborg. I know the help work she does. I'm a Cyborg fan. I don't got nothing to get Cyborg. I'm not one of those people that call her a cheater and all of that shit. I'm actually a fan of Cyborg. But this Amanda Nunes situation is turning me away, not away like, oh, I'm not going to be a fan, but it's just turning me, it's putting up my fucking skeptical hippo eyes, as Brandon Chop would say, because I'm like, yo, is Amanda, it, I'm asking myself, is Chris Cyborg scared of Amanda Nunes, and I'm asking myself, I'm not saying she is, 
I'm asking myself, I'm asking you guys, is Chris Cyborg scared of Amanda Nunes? And when I say scared, I mean it not scared like having fucking nightmares going to sleep. Like, oh my god, Amanda Nunes, please don't. No, I'm talking about is she scared of the outcome? Is she worried that Amanda Nunes can take that belt and take everything Chris Cyborg's built, you know, her legacy? If Chris Cyborg lost to the Bantamweight Champion, regardless, it would be terrible for her legacy because people would say, wow, you lost to a Bantamweight. Even though this is the queen of Bantamweights, that's the problem. This is the best Bantamweight ever. Chris Cyborg's been knocking all these other Bantamweights off, and they weren't the best of the best. What happens if Amanda Nunes beats her? Even though for Amanda, see, that's the thing. For this, Amanda Nunes is in a very, very good spot for this fight. It's a win-win, 100% for Amanda Nunes. If you lose the Cyborg, no one cares because they expected it. Still a huge fight. She still gets respect for taking the fight, for wanting the fight. She doesn't lose her belt even. And if she, if she wins, boom, on top of the world. This is the chick that just took Cyborg's belt, a two-weight UFC champion. This fight is like a win-win-win-win-win for Amanda Nunes. All, every single way you look at it. And make, I'm sure Chris Cyborg knows that. And normally, this fight would be a lose-lose for Chris Cyborg. So you would understand her turning down the fight in some ways. Because if Chris Cyborg takes this fight and wins, people say, oh, well, you just beat another Bantamweight. And if she loses, people say... You just lost to a fucking Bantamweight. So, it's, it normally would be a bad fight for Cyborg, and I would understand that. The reason it's not is because this is the queen of Bantamweights. This is Amanda Nunes. Chris Cyborg's talking about wanting to build a legitimate 145-pound division and not fight, not keep fighting these Bantamweights. Well, guess what? If you beat the queen of Bantamweights, the UFC or no other organization can offer you another Bantamweight fight if you don't want it. Because you said, look, I beat Amanda Nunes. I beat Holly Holm. Both of those girls beat Ronda Rousey, and that's another thing. Whenever um, Amanda, whenever Chris Cyborg fought Holly Holm, she's like, "Look, if I beat Holly Holm, I never got to fight Ronda Rousey, but she beat Ronda Rousey, and I beat her." Same with Amanda Nunes. If you beat Amanda Nunes, not only did you just beat the queen of bantamweights, you also beat the only two chicks that beat Ronda Rousey. You become the queen of the world as far as MMA is concerned. No questions, no ifs, ands, or buts, and. You don't ever have to fucking worry about fighting another 135 pounder again as long as Amanda Nunes is the champion because you beat everybody there. So now it's to, hey, UFC, bring in Megan Anderson, bring in Cindy Dandois, bring in all those other girls you tagged that I've never heard of, like Bam to Bam. I all it seems like at Bam. What about this girl at Bam Bam? Like, who is that? What we're gonna say? What are you talking about? Over Amanda Nunes? So after you beat Amanda Nunes, if you're going to beat her, or after, a lot of people will assume that, after Cyborg fights Amanda Nunes, bring in all of these featherweights because there's no bantamweights messing with me. Now it's time to build my division, Cyborg. So with that being said, it is what it is. Amanda Nunes coach responded to Chris Cyborg's attack, kept it classy, and said don't let that distract you from the fact that Amanda Nunes wants the fame. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. Shout out Limit Homegrown Genetics. I ain't gonna forget you, man. You ain't even gotta sponsor me. I do that shit for free, man. I ain't, what the fuck? It's just two words out of my mouth, man. Lemon Hoco Genetics. Hit him up. What do you mean? Y'all, I'll hit, get, hit you up for a shout out anytime I remember, dog. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da. It's the motherfucking D-O-Double-G.